Good afternoon, folks. Happy Father's Day if you are a father. Just wanted to give you all a quick update on the garden. So I'll start from this end. Uh, just to recap from before, this used to be an area where we had a 40-foot container, kind of like this one. It's uh, like about 8 feet wide and 40 feet long. And so after um, they took it away, we said we're going to garden here because the soil is going to be all nice and the uh, soil, all the grass would be dead. So we decided to turn it into a garden. So this is new. We used to have a sunflower here. It died, didn't do so well. But we planted peppers down at this end now. And hopefully the corn that's here don't drown it out. But down here we have some cayenne peppers. We transplanted them in. We did this last night. So these are new. And then we have red, they're called red night peppers. They are. Red night peppers. So all of this row, they're red night peppers. And all of these are red night peppers up until this next flag, this next car, to where you see that these are banana peppers. So just need to keep them watered in real good. But anyway, there's our corn. We got like three, four varieties of corn, three varieties of corn, I think. But you can see they're all growing different heights, which is weird because the corn the corn that's here is one variety it's like that emerald gem they're different colors and then i forgot what all these are but you can see how tall this is what i'm used to seeing in cornfields and then we got these little ones that are growing real tiny don't know why I'm, or i probably know why probably not enough water and you dig down like three or four inches and you hit rocks i think we're on top of an iron ore mine with all this clay but anyway you can see how some of them they tassel really, really crazy. Some of them grew, they're real short, didn't grow anywhere. Like, like, look at this one. It's really short. But this area was supposed to be our three sister area right in here. Um, you can see our beans. They didn't do right, but they're starting to crawl around and wrap around. Um, this is our squash, the squash portion. They are squash. The squash is squashing. I uh, actually have a pumpkin further back down in there. You probably can't see it, but there's one in there. And there's another squash plant that's over here. So that one over here and that squash plant is starting to run all down here in the okra. All of these are okra. These are two different types of okra. Um, one is some called motherland okra they get about maybe the palm of your hand in size pretty big and then this is another type of okra that's a um african type of okra forgot forgot the name of it but i'll try to remember the name and then these are our tomatoes um this is our makeshift tomato steaks the way we did it these are <clears throat> using crepe myrtle crepe myrtle sticks or crepe myrtle branches not sticks uh, we just kind of tied them together zip tied into like a little tripod on each end and i was gonna just wrap string all the way around i decided against that um, instead but i did run string kind of zigzag you can see and then um instead of buying those little tomato clips i used my good friend zip ties use zip ties don't tighten them up all the way just tie them up to it and tie it to the top branch so try to keep it simple try to keep it cheap but they're doing pretty good I uh, got a few tomatoes these are our black creme tomatoes um, tomatoes in this row they are called um, yellow fire tomatoes and then we have tomatoes down on this end on this side these are called um japanese black trifle tomatoes so didn't do anything well we did have peppers down here originally but they got washed out because this is going downhill this way so um didn't do anything with this end but we probably should at some point just not right now but anyway this is our experiment um uh, first time growing in like the ground in an open field usually we used to do container gardening but 
This is a departure from the past and experimenting with uh, growing in the ground for the first time. So, oh, or should I say growing in the ground on a larger scale? So, anywho, keep you all updated. Thanks for checking us out. Yeah.